Aber das war auch schon. When we are healthy, we don't give it a second thought. Guido Schulze used to work as a painter. Two years ago, he was diagnosed with a brain tumor. During an operation, a blood vessel burst in his brain. Since then, he's been paralyzed on his left side. I can't actively open or close my hand. I also can't even do it in my thoughts. When we are healthy, we don't give it a second thought. We just make a movement. And now I really have to try to do something, and it's not easy. Today, Guido Schulze is testing whether he might be able to use his hand better by using a so-called hand exoskeleton. The wearable technology is controlled by his thoughts. We are doing this so we can reorganize the brain. And this reorganization should have a favorable effect on restoring function. Reorganize. Sounds as if everything here is jumbled up and will have to be sorted again. The idea is that uninjured parts of the brain will take over the functions of the affected areas. Together with the exoskeleton, Guido is given a cap that can read his electrical brain signals. When the patient thinks about moving his hand, the computer recognizes that impulse and saves it. Comparing it with the signals that his brain emits when he's not actively thinking, the computer is only able to learn because of the information that was taught to it by human programmers. They have fed it with algorithms and commands that help it increasingly better understand when Guido Schulze wants to move his hand. Like right now, the program understands what to do. The bottle is now firmly in my hand. As a healthy person, you can't imagine it. It's crazy. You want to close your hand and it just happens. It's a bit spooky. It's like something from science fiction.